Today is just a quick video to talk about these two, HD0 and the new FPV1 Pilot goggles for Morka. And we're specifically going to be talking about the 4x3 mode, because a few days ago, Orca released a beta firmware for the new Pilot goggles that adds proper support for HD0 4x3 mode over HDMI. If you're using the new native 4x3 camera from HD0, this means you're able to get the full field of view in the Orca goggles, unlike on the HDO2s where it's having to be scaled. What we're going to do today is just give you guys a quick overview of the difference of those two field of views. We'll put it in 16 by 9 and put a camera in the goggles just to show you what that looks like. And then I'll hop it over to that full 4x3 just to show you what that looks like as well. I'm only going to be doing that in here. Sadly, I'm not going to be able to do it out and about, but it should give you just a bit of an idea of the difference that is available in field of view with HD0 now with this native 4x3 support. Just before we jump into it, I just want to say quickly, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing to the channel. If you do find the video interesting, please do give it a like. And if you'd like to support the channel to allow us to keep making content like this, there is a link to our Patreon as well as buy me a coffee too. Anyway, let's get on with it and let's have a look at it in 16 by 9 first of all. As you can see, we've powered the system up and it's all currently in 16 by 9. For all of this to work, you need to make sure the pilots from Orca have the latest firmware, which is version 3.0.1 at the point of me making this video, and your HD0 VRX and VTXs all have the latest firmware as well, which is compatible with this new version 2 camera. If I enter the camera menu, you will see under here, I have the option to set it to 16 by nine or four by three, and it's currently in 16 by nine. If I jump in to the module, because I'm using the latest firmware, we now have some additional options under the aspect ratio as well. Here you have original, which gives us 16 by nine, H960, which is that four by three mode. You have vertical and horizontal scale, as well as horizontal cut mode. To get 4x3 working properly, the first thing you need to do is put it in that H960 setting. However, just note that at this point, we still don't have any additional vertical field of view because the camera is still set at 16x9. So whilst the image is changed to 4x3, we're not actually getting the full benefit from it. What we need to do is go into the camera menu and then set that to 4x3 as well. That will request that you do a reboot of the VTX. And once that is done, you will then see the additional field of view from that 4x3 mode. So if you keep an eye on the image and look at the top, especially once I reboot, you will see when it comes back on, you get that additional vertical field of view. So you can actually then see all of that available image from the camera that you weren't getting in the 16 by nine mode. Just to show you a comparison between the two images side by side, just so you can see what the additional benefit you get is. If you look at the top and bottom, you can see that there is quite a substantial increase in the field of view with that native four by three sensor on that version two camera. There are also some additional settings you need to be aware of in the Orca goggles menus themselves as well. For instance, the Orca goggles have the option of either 720p input or 960. In my tests, it doesn't seem to make a difference what this setting is when in 4x3 mode, but it does need to be in 720p when in 16x9. You also have the option to change the goggles field of view mode from freestyle down to race mode, which reduces that field of view from 37 degrees down to 33, allowing you to just be able to see the full image with all of the OSD data without having to look around. And again, it's this setting that some people like having to be able to reduce the field of view and just make viewing everything a little bit easier. Again, just putting these up so you can see them to show the difference what one is like compared to the other, just so you understand the difference in field of view that you get in between these two modes. 
So as you've seen, there are a few steps you need to take. You need to not only put the camera in 4x3, but you also need to put the VRX in that 960 mode as well. Then you get the full field of view available on the screens in the goggles. The nice thing is though, if you do find that a little big, you can put them in race mode. That will take it out a little bit and just help you see that whole image with the OSD rather than having to look around with the larger field of view that you get in 4x3. If you're interested in seeing my full review on these goggles, I will put a link to it in the corner as well as in the comment section as well, which I'll pin at the top. In that, I go over all of the goggles, the features, and I even show you how to set it up with HD0 as well. And I also talk about that field of view situation too in that video. So if you're interested, please do check it out. Finally, if you would like to support us to allow us to be able to buy a set of these because they are actually on loan, please do check out the links in the description to my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee. It's only by you guys using them am I able to keep making videos like this. Finally, please do let me know what you think in the comment section. I'll try and answer any questions you've got. Stay safe and I will speak to you guys again soon.